All right, so for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hide your wires for your dash cam and get it all the way down. And you can use the 12 volt, volt socket over here, but I feel it's a bit messy. So I have wired it to the back, as you can see there. So I'm gonna show you how do you hide your wires through and have it just shoe out through there. So the things you will need is a pick tool set, some cable holder things, and a pry tool. All right, so what you wanna do first is mount your dash cam to where you want it, and then plug in the connection. So let's just, all right. So once you plugged it in, you can route it straight up through here. All right. And what you want to do is get your pry tool and then try to just shove it in first so once you're able to push some of it in it'll make it work a bit easier all right and then you want to get your pick tool okay and the pick tool is just going to help you open up the crevice a bit so you're able to shove the wire in the headliner up here so once you get a bit of momentum going you'll be able to just push it in with your fingers once you cut it in so right here is all secure if you can see okay so now I'm gonna open the door and once you get to this part here it's where it gets a little bit tricky so I would suggest for you to know the amount of like just estimate the amount of wire you need then you open up your weather shield okay and you just run it along your weather shield so you take your pick tool okay then you run it down as you go along Then you can just push it in a bit more. Make sure it's all in there. Like it. And once you get down here, you'll see these clips. I have placed it all along the bottom of the dash of the glove box. So you just take your cable and then you wire it through again. straight there so as you can see it's all wide through and I want to come to this part what I like to do is I'll shove it in 
through that area. And again, I'm gonna take the pick tool and then just push it in. Then you take this wire, you just run it along the hole of your center dash. And once you get to this point, you need to move your chair backwards or forward depending on the area you need to reach. So right now I'm moving it back. All right, so we have a bit more space to run this wire along. So as you can see, we can go all the way, right all the way to the back. All right. All right, now I'll go to the back. All right, once you have it ran all the way to the back, now all you just have to do is plug it in. And you can hide your wires underneath the carpet on the mat and you won't have anything showing from the front that's all the wires that's visible all right so for this part you will need your pick tool again okay and you would lift the weather shield all the way up until you can pull the a pillar down all right, once you pull the A pillar down, okay, all you just have to do is make sure to get a good grip of it. Okay, and you'll be able to shove your wire all the way through. Make sure A pillar is back in place and then route these cables back up. Take your pry tool again. Alright, once you got it in, it's done. So if you own an F30, all you would have to do is wire it underneath the glove box because they provide a 12 volt socket there, unlike the, G, the G20 where the only socket is in the center and behind. Here they have one that is right underneath the glove box. So that will make it much easier for wiring.